We're heading back a few videos now where we built a water sprayer setup in our RT3 drift car. It worked great, but this tank is way too small. So this video is gonna be pretty chill and we're gonna build a new custom tank for our water sprayers. So we have a 7.8 litre tank from the BMW X5 right here. And I'm gonna use some cardboard. We're going to use some aluminium and we are gonna build a new box in here somewhere. But yeah, first thing I'm gonna do is pull this box out, work out the size tank we're gonna need. My friend Kale Scott, he runs like a 38 or a 40 litre tank. And he said that lasts about half an hour session, whereas this 7.8 litre tank lasted maybe two laps. So definitely not enough to save our tires. Yeah, we have an event coming up this weekend, which is Calder Park. I may have this video out before that, probably after it, not me, because we have some things to do with our drift car. Um, <sighs> let's pull this tank out. All right, change of plans. Got the thing out now, and I did find this aluminium box. Unfortunately, it's like three mil thick, but also I don't believe it's big enough. I'm gonna do something with this box and extend it and basically try double the size. And then we use our two mil thick sheet of aluminium and work out something that's gonna sit nicely in here. I'm gonna somehow, I'm gonna cut these, I'm gonna cut these brackets off and somehow I just mount to the bash bar and the firewall and stuff and make this as simple as possible. <laughs> so, what am I gonna do? I don't actually know. And I still also need to work out how to get the motors mounted in there. As you can see, I'll have to do some little box like that where it sits on the side of some sort, but that's something easily we can work around. I'm gonna start doing some mathematical calculation. Oh, I'm not doing anything. I'm just gonna guesstimate uh, and work out how I'm gonna get this to mount. Looks like a bloody massacre happened, but <laughs> this is basically what I'm going for. Uh, just, just extending this out a little bit. I do have to chop off, there's a lip. There's a little lip in there I've got to chop off. But, so that'll bring it back a little bit because right now it actually doesn't fit without cutting off those brackets. But that's basically what I'm going for. This is where we're going to mount our wipe motors. So going to build this up about that height and it'll be like a little, little box section in there with a hole drilled. Uh, exactly like this. And then, yeah, pretty much. <laughs> just wanted to, I just want to do this cardboard template to go sort of show you what I want. I did test, uh, I did test this box and that is about 15 liters. So with the extra that size, should hopefully make it 20 liters, I reckon. I almost need to friggin' extend it both ways, don't I? Let's see how we go. There we go. Whoa. Look at all this space we have now. That's what we're doing. That's exactly what we are doing. I've cut all the brackets off now, and that's uh, the much room as I can really get. So I'm gonna start converting these. I'm gonna start converting these into alloy sheet. All right, this is my little template I've got made up now. And I have try, tried to bend it, but I have no actually proper bender to bend this sheet metal. So what I'm gonna do is I'm actually going to, I'm actually gonna tack it in place and bend it as I go. I think that'll give us the best way of getting this bent to where we need it to be. So I'm gonna give that a shot now. It. So, how you guys doing over there? Doing all right? I had a pop. I... It is much easier with stainless. <laughs> Shit. So this is where we've gotten so far and I've just put on a quick test fit and it's pretty snug, uh, any bigger and it would not fit. <laughs> so I'm actually probably just gonna go and start actually welding all this now. So weld all this up 
uh, yeah, weld it all, and then we'll start making our backing plate and our little section here that's got to stick out for our, uh, whatchamacallits, uh, for our motors. Exciting. And then we have to, yeah, block up these holes, test how much actually water's in there. So I'm pretty interested to see how much this actually fills. I'm gonna put you guys inside this helmet and try show my terrible welding skills. Like this. We would weld the bottom first. That's the part you're not gonna see. This might actually work really well. I'm getting carpal tunnel. <laughs> We've got our water container thingamajagger, main part sort of welded, and now I've gotten this little thing that I made here. That's gonna go like that. Oop, that's something like that. I've then just got to make a little section like that. And then it's mostly together, so I'm going to tack this on now, maybe even weld it, and then start making up this bit of. And yeah, this is what we got going on here. So just slide the zip tie over the phone. Alrighty, now I've got to weld these holes up. Uh, I've got these little circle thingamajigs. Like that's pretty good. I think if I tack that, uh oh, if I maybe tack that side first and then punch it in with a hammer, it should fit pretty perfect. God damn. That is the tank all done, almost. And that's how we get our motors. I'm pretty happy with that. I might have to actually just make a little thing that holds this in. I'm not too sure yet, but I'm about to test this and see how much water this holds. Uh, that's going to be our filler neck, so draw this terrible looking hole. I'm going to weld that to like, like that and get a Raceworks cap that sits on that, but I'm not going to weld that on until I've got the Raceworks cap. I'm going to go start topping this thing up now. I'll have to block these holes so I can actually get the proper reading. Leave a guess in the comments of how much water you think's in here because I filled up this and it held about 15 litres. My guess is going to be 25 litres. That's, that's uh, my educated guess, which is not very educated because I am not. I see. Alrighty. Look at that. So, if that's 15 litres, what is that? It's about 9 litres because we have used 24, just about 24 litres, uh, which is quite bloody heavy. I might, have to, I might have to go get Bailey over here and see if he can bite it, curl it. Now I've got to move it, and it's quite friggin' heavy. Uh, so, yeah. Successful night of uh, extending our battery tray. It's actually my old man's out of his XY Falcon. Um, it's been sitting for ages, for like maybe 10 years, maybe seven years, I don't know, for a long time. Ever since I've been in the cars, this tray, this battery tray has been sitting under the bench. And I remember a couple of years ago, he said I could have it. Um, so I finally used it. Anyway, I'm gonna empty all this water out, which is gonna suck. And I'm gonna head home and I'll come back tomorrow to do the mounts and stuff. and get it all resituated. Um, hopefully it doesn't take too long tomorrow because I need to get ready for a trip to bed. Oh, I love you. I love you, Daniel. I could easily get the sucker and do it, but uh, apparently I'm the sucker, so. All right, let's get back. And the other thing as well is it looks like it doesn't leak. So that is cool. What up, people of the YouTubes? We're back, working on 33. And I have now, I've now finally mounted this little uh, cell that we have. Um, made some brackets. It's quite uh, not the best. I, like, I'm happy with these welds, but then like trying to weld the brackets, absolute chaos. I'm so glad I did not fill it. I mean, film it, because it was just embarrassing. And I'm embarrassed to show you guys. So I'm gonna show you. <laughs> nah. 
That one isn't so bad. It's still bad, but like, yeah. And also, these are so flimsy. I'm like, oh, I'm gonna have to weld in more, like, more brackets. But once they actually bolted in place, it's pretty good. Um, I'll be, I'm interested to see what happens when I'm like jumping the car. And it's got 25 kilograms of water inside. Um, tomorrow I'm picking up a cap from Raceworks. We'll weld to the top of this. Um, and tomorrow I'll probably weld in little little holders so I can actually hold these motors in because right out of the scene there. I'd almost just leave them because that's sort of just how I roll. But yeah, anyway, I'm gonna hop up water now and see how they how they work. Um, I did end up losing my nozzles for this. If you can see down there, that's a nozzle there, it's fallen off. I've broken them and I have no more left. Now I have to change the clear rubber lines and just legit have them sitting into that. And I'll zip tie the other end so they don't fall out. But yeah, it almost just looks like a fuel cell and like it, it's like so little. Anyway, I need to shut up. Yeah, chuck some water in. Let's test how it all works. It's obviously gonna work. Um, yeah. <laughs> All right, success. We're doing basically some maintenance now on the R33 because uh, again, we have the final round of the championship coming up next Saturday, which we should try this video out before the event so people know to come. But if you don't follow me on Instagram, make sure you do because that's where I post a lot of my updates. Uh, but anyway, uh, things we're doing. I need to buy new tie rods for this because they are both shot. Um, and basically, I'm gonna show you the rims here, both edge. Um, basically, you want this when you turn your wheel sideways like that, like it'll jolt it, you want it to be zero play. This thing actually has, like, that's a massive adjustment. That, that, that is not good. Like, that's it there. 10 to 15 mil of play in the tie rods, which is your front steering. Uh, and my rear is basically the same. I will show you that now. I don't know if you can see them, but they are destroyed those bushes. And if you... Yeah, you can see that play there. That's the rear bush. And now we've got the front one here. And it's the same. And if you go to this side, yeah, solar bushes on this side. Uh, this one probably needs to be fixed too because it is has been damaged and bent and re-straightened. Um, oh, this bloody thing. Uh, anyway, I'm just talking crap. So maybe I'll just, I'll just change this solar control arm then because I've got another one that's been shortened with brand new bushes in it uh yeah i should probably clean this thing up probably that's from my girlfriend drifting off course <laughs> what have i even done this video oh yeah i built a water tank that was sort of already half built so yeah let's hope i can get one of these this weekend and a nice little first place that would be ideal peace out girl scout